welcome to my channel. I have a new video for you today. This is another What's the Wahala AC interview and I have a great person today who's going to be talking about how she here that's doing great things with her new candle business and she's going to talk to you a little bit about what she has going on. So let's get into it. I have Sarah B here. Hello. So who is Sarah B? You know, kind of explain and introduce yourself to the people. Sarah. Who am I? <laughs> yes. Oh man, that's that's a hard thing when you try to like give it about me to mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Um, but who I am, fashion has always been a part of my life. So I think that has a portion of who I am. Yeah. But I also have um, writing. Writing is really who I am. Expressing myself is really who I am. Yeah. Um, Feeling heard and hearing others mm -hmm. is to me who I am as a person. Um, I think relationships with people is something that makes me who I am right. for sure. Because mm -hmm. without great, healthy relationships, relationships with friends and God, yeah. where would I be? Yeah. So I think that's who I am as a person. Someone that's just trying to put forth myself and immerse myself in my dreams. So that's me. <laughs> I love that. So can you tell us a little bit about your candles and everything that you're doing with the candle and the poetry? Yes. So actually I have a candle line. It is called Quaint Keystones Co. I have poetry that's tied within the candles. I have actually been writing ever since I could remember. For me, writing was um, a sense of an escape or a way for me to tell my story. I've always had diaries. Um, I was that little girl that just would have notebooks. My mom always gave me notebooks and diaries and um, I would write. Uh, one book that really uh, stuck to me in my life, my mom had a bunch of uh, chicken noodle soup for the soul books. And in particular, there was one that was about um, love and growth. And I actually would take the time and read it. and. I actually wrote to them to see how can I get one of my poetry um, excerpts in there. Mm -hmm. They never got back to me, but I do remember. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but you tried. That's the, that's the thing. I tried. <laughs> but I did get in some other poetry book. I don't even know what it was called. It was like random. I remember there would be like pop-ups on your computer, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, I signed up for one and I sent one and they actually sent me something in the mail and it went nice. to a book. I don't know what it is. I never will know mm -hmm. in life, but I think that was something where it was like, okay, one day I'm gonna have my own poetry book yeah. or a way to have that. Yeah. Um, so candles came about because um, I'm still working on a book, but um, it's taking time. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to figure out a smart way to intertwine candles and my writing and the best way to have writing is to have it on a product so I specifically chose candles because it's made with your hands and it's something that I still spend time with and have a process with it so writing and candle making is a process mm -hmm. so though combining the two I feel like it's just a, a lovely combination so that's how this came about. With every candle that you have, do they have different poetry sayings on each one of them? Yes, okay. in fact, they do. Well, I have four. Okay. It's founded, loved, remembered, and delighted. Mm. And each of them have their own meanings and scents that are tied to it. Um, you'll be able to read them on the website, yes. of course. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Is your website up already or will it be up soon? My website isn't up just yet okay. because we are in preparation for our pre-launch, mm -hmm. which is November 6th. So mark your calendars and the official launch will be November 13th. Yes. And um, actually, I specifically chose those days because they're Fridays mm -hmm. and... <laughs> I was actually born on a Friday. Okay. So. <laughs> I gotta tell you your Ghana name then. We oh. have different, um, well, for the Shanti tribe, we have different names for each day of the week. So oh. I'm gonna find you your Friday yeah. name. Please, please tell me, please tell me. That'll be my nickname. <laughs> yeah. You said you've been doing poetry for a while now. So what made you gravitate towards poetry and writing? Ooh, I, I really like this question. Mm -hmm. What made me gravitate towards poetry and writing is because I was really, um, 
I'm more of a reserved person. Mm -hmm. I've always been that. Um, a lot of times people could refer to me as like, I was a crybaby when they would talk to me as a kid. But a lot of times it was because I would get nervous. Um, it did make me uncomfortable for sure. Um, because I just didn't really know how to express myself. Um, and sometimes I didn't feel like I was listened to right. in some aspects. I did of course have a few, you know, people that did listen to me, but um, I gravitated it because to it because I felt heard to myself. Like I was able to read my own words and feel like, oh wow, I see you, you see me, we see each other. And um, it's crazy because I can actually look at something I've written years ago and I'm like, I wrote that? <laughs> um, and for real, and it's really weird. It's like writing is like a portal mm -hmm. to me, to be honest. And um, that was where I got my create creativity in. That's where I um, shed my pain, shed my hurt, and also had fun yeah. uh, writing for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm, glad. <laughs> I'm glad you found an outlet because, yeah, sometimes being reserved, you already feel kind of shut down by people. So you, you go more into your shell. Yes. And then yeah. you got to find a way, okay, like. I'm gonna break if I don't find something mm -hmm. to help me get out of this. So mm -hmm. writing is a great thing for that. And yeah, you're right about it being a portal because when I go back and I read some of the things, I was like, I was feeling like this. Okay. Yeah, I, I have no idea yeah. and I forget a lot. So yeah. writing things down, having that yeah. like stamp mark to just go back and be like, wow, okay, this is, that makes sense. Yeah, you know? it truly does. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was a shy person. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, again, it wasn't even the, the fault of other people, me, mm -hmm. of me feeling that way. I was just really shy and uncomfortable. Like, it's like having a spotlight on you and you don't want the spotlight. Or did you make these quotes up uh, just specifically for the candle or did you make them prior to the candle? So I, I wrote these um, excerpts specifically mm -hmm. for the candles okay. um, and what the wording of the candle is. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the quotes and uh, different poetry that you put on the candles? So we can begin with Founded, okay. which is actually the first candle and that's why I named it Founded. Mm -hmm. um, it's very good to always kind of know where you, I think make a point where you created your foundation. Mm -hmm. So that's why I specifically chose that word. So here is founded, I and love how they look. They're thank so you, thank you. And uh, the excerpt on it is: It's a surreal feeling when you discover a new path. It's as if you finally found the missing piece in your life. Here's to new beginnings. Mm -hmm. And so, when you get this candle, it's again to gift it to someone else to congratulate them for their their new beginning in life. Um, it could be a relationship, it could be a new job, I mean, it could be anything, any but... Any new start. Yeah, yeah, it's any new start, and that's kind of the way I, I've molded my candles to be, where it's it's more than just a candle, it's, it has meaning, you know, and again, it's to show whoever else that you see them, you yeah. feel them, mm -hmm. um, and appreciate them. Yeah. I love that. Thank you. So the second candle is Remembered. And the excerpt on there is, our mind is a powerful form of matter. Mm -hmm. We store times, important dates, locations, what we wore that day, and even what we ate. This perfect moment is to be sealed with a special scent. Here's to a new memory. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't want to be remembered? Mm -hmm. So, of course, when you're giving someone remembered, it's because they're important to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love that. And head on over to the website so you can see what the rest to of them see what say. The rest. Yes, <laughs> we gotta keep the mystery going, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> so, are you starting off with four products? Um, okay. Yes, I'm starting off with four. Okay. Um, and it will expand out. Yes. Stay tuned. Follow the journey, mm -hmm. and you'll see more, more in store. Yes. <laughs> Go to her website. Yeah. Will Quaint Keystones uh, be just a candle brand or will you be expanding more so with the poetry and doing different things or do you think you'll stick with the candles? Actually, it will be a lot more. Okay. Um, I'm just waiting for the proper time to mm -hmm. release other things. Um, I specifically chose this name so it could live as a home brand for many other things. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so you'll definitely see more poetry in different ways and forms, more items, 
you know, just again, follow the journey. Yes. You'll see. I am can't give too much. I can't give too much. <laughs> and another thing too is um, I got to move when God says move. Mm. So I have a lot of things where I feel like he's provided me the ideas for them. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just waiting for him to tell me the right time to just push that on out as well. I love that. <laughs> I love that. So what you talked about how each candle has to do with divine intent. So what does divine intent mean to you? Divine intent. Mm -hmm. Well, that <laughs> word already is, yeah. it's like it's ordained. Mm -hmm. It was given from a higher power, which is God. Um, if you don't know me, I'll tell you now, I'm God driven. Yes. Um, so divine intent, he intentionally gave me the idea for this candle mm -hmm. because, um, there's a million products in the world, and I think sometimes the struggle that I have with myself is how to stand out. Right. And um, I think that that's even with different areas of life where you kind of feel like, how do you want to stand out? What makes you a little bit more personal? And I was wrecking my brain trying to figure out <laughs> what it is that can give me um, just the unique uh, essence about my brand and myself. Mm -hmm. And literally it just hit me like a ton of bricks. And uh, I, that's how I know it was God for sure. Yeah. And told me the idea like, you like writing, do it with writing. Mm -hmm. And so that's how it, it came about. That's really good. <laughs> I feel like with getting into business, people do get scared because they're like, oh, okay, there's millions of this, mm -hmm. there's millions of that. But, you know, I saw something that said, there's millions of, um, tissue paper brands, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they're all out there. Mm -hmm. So you could be a part of it yeah. too, and you just gotta figure out like how to make it unique to yourself, yeah. basically. That's so true, mm -hmm. because there's people out there that are going to buy it. Some yeah. people like Charmin, mm -hmm. some people like, exactly. I don't know the other <laughs> brand, you know what I mean? Clearly I like Charmin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's so true, that's yeah. very true. And, and that's where I have to remind myself too. It's like, you know what? Don't give up just because there's a million and one brand. Mm -hmm. You can be the a million and second brand exactly. and still have room. And, and that's true. There's room for everybody. Yeah, there's any field. a million, billions of people on this world. Yep. So yep. someone's gonna buy your product. Somebody, yep. for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what is the one thing that you want people to take away from your brand and learning about you today? One thing I want others to take away from me is that if I can do it, you definitely can do it too. Um, I feel like fear has held me back a lot of times with doing things, um, but you can really not do great things if you're not uncomfortable. You can't, you can't. Like, something new is always going to be scary. Very true. So <laughs> I, I hate that, I really do, <laughs> but it's very true. It's yeah. super true. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just finding out like once you push past that fear mm -hmm. and you get a little bit over it, it yeah. starts to feel a bit better um, and it'll start to feel right mm -hmm. and it is feeling right of me just investing my money and my time. So candles, they're a form of like self-care and self-love. So what other self-care practices do you incorporate into your routine? Ooh, I love this question. Yeah. Um, a self-care practice that I do, I am a big podcast listener. Okay. Um, I always have to listen to something that um, motivates me mm -hmm. mentally and spiritually. So I'll listen to business-oriented um, podcasts mm -hmm. and I'll also listen to therapy-based podcasts mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. and as well as um, sermons. So it's a spiritual, I get all, I love to get fed all those types of ways because the internal part is what really is important. So that's number one for sure, yes. is podcast listening. Um, I get on my dosage of YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is self-care to me because if you find the right things, they can definitely help you throughout life. Yeah. Um, another thing that I like to do, I do like to, um, I like to do my makeup. Yeah. That's self-care. Mm -hmm. And I like to also talk to myself as well yeah you gotta tell yourself encourage yourself that you yeah. can do things um you should be your own best friend literally <laughs> literally yeah. literally so that's my self-care mm -hmm. affirmations prayers and yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> what would you tell someone that's kind of struggling with their self-care you know what different things should they like focus on and 
you know, focus on and um, figure out in that time where they're struggling with figuring out who they are. I love that. Mm -hmm. um, I think that if they're struggling with finding out, you know, what it is to do for self-care, I would honestly, I love YouTube to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, and I can say that without a doubt. Sometimes you could just find people that are positive on there and kind of type in a self self care routine. Yeah. You know, um, and kind of see other people's self care routine to kind of get an idea of what it is that might speak to you. Yeah. Um, I like reading books, so I've I like self improvement books mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, I think of course there's times when we all have like struggled about self care areas, and I think finding those things. Um, via social media is the best way um, in order to help you find it and then you make it what make it what helps you personally so don't mimic completely someone else's yeah. but just find different things like um, yoga is cool I'm not the greatest yogi or yoga person right <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's fun and great but like I I am so sore when I do it so I don't find it relaxing mm. But another self-care for me at a point before COVID hit was working out. Mm. I love the burn of um, the weights yeah. and also boxing. It was just a great outlet for me to have. Um, it taught me also like concentration and muscle memory and all of that. So that helped me, you know, have my own form of self-care. I felt powerful. I felt confident and strong. So okay. yeah. <laughs> really good. It's really good. I want to play like a quick little game with yeah. you, okay? You're going to pick, you know, which one that you prefer and then you're going to pick the first thing that comes to your mind, okay? So this one is just going to be either or. Which one that would you rather pick? Okay. Candles or incense? Candles all day. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. I'm not impartial to like incense okay. as well, but candles for yeah. sure. <laughs> Music or movies? Music. Yeah. Yeah. Music. Yeah. I love movies too, but yeah. Music. Music. Thanksgiving or Christmas? Christmas. Really? Because my mother makes gumbo. Okay. And uh, <laughs> she has the best gumbo in the land. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, at least to me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't make gumbo during Thanksgiving. No, you no, gotta wait for Christmas. For yeah, that. okay. And honestly, I'm over Thanksgiving food. Mm -hmm. I think I need something different. Yeah. Like I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Thanksgiving's my favorite. Really? <laughs> I am so sorry. No, you're good. I'm so sorry to this woman. <laughs> no, I love Thanksgiving. It's my favorite holiday. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I don't know. I just love it because we all come together. Aww. I mean, Christmas, yeah, but it's I don't know. Thanksgiving is like the start of like coming together mm -hmm. and all that, and then the food and stuffing. Oh. <laughs> dancing or singing? Ooh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say dancing. Okay. Even though I don't dance as much as I used to, I don't, right. I don't cut a rug like I used to back in the day. But mm -hmm. dancing, okay, dancing's fine. Yeah. Sarah also used to sing to be honest. And we used to dance together. Yes. 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 <laughs> that's me, that's when I used to have like I used to dance. Mm -hmm. Now. Yeah. Now I'm a lot older. Alright. I can't do it. Right. <laughs> Lost I, it. I don't want to do now. <laughs> In person shopping or online shopping? Online shopping. Okay. I don't find uh, the greatest selections in stores. Mm. So online shopping for me, even though it's a hassle yeah. with um, finding items that don't fit or mm -hmm. fit, still, I'm going to online shop all day. All day. <laughs> all okay. day. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this one is, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Or what's the first thing that comes to your mind, okay? okay. The sign cancer. Ooh, caring? Okay. For sure. Your cancer, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, I get along with cancer. Oh, really? Well, so. mm -hmm. Traveling. Africa. Okay. Um, I've actually gone to a couple countries. Oh, nice. But 
I really want to go back there and mm -hmm. travel to a lot more countries. Like yeah. one day, I want to go to every country. Me too. Me you too. do? That's a goal. We mine. need to. We need to go yes. do it together. Yes. I really want to go to mm -hmm. every country. That would. After that, I'll just be like, all right. Yeah. I have fulfilled <laughs> my purpose in life. <laughs> have you been to Ghana yet? No. You gotta go. I want to. <laughs> you gotta go. Fashion. Jeans. Jeans. I am a jean queen. Mm. Um, I love jeans and I know in the back of my mind what specific rise that suits me best. Mm -hmm. So jeans, which one day down the line, I'll talk more about that, but okay. there's a special reason why I chose jeans. Okay. <laughs> one of the things that we're just gonna have to wait to see. Yes. yes. <laughs> Oh. You gotta pick one, it's uh, you. <laughs> right? I guess funny. Some people think I'm funny. Okay. Some people like you think you're funny because you're not funny. I'm like, please, I laugh at my own jokes. Right. That's and it. that's important. That's the most important. If you laugh at your own stuff, then nobody can tell you anything. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming onto my channel. Aww. You guys can check out Quaint Keystones. Um, I'll have all her information down in the description box. But check out her candle line. Check out more that's coming with Quaint Keystones. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to get your candles. And thank you so much for Aww. coming onto my channel. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yes. Um, this is such a new experience for myself. Mm -hmm. I am a major background person. Mm -hmm. I love the background. That's where I've lived. This the greatest thing ever. Yeah. But again, um, I'm listening to God mm -hmm. and she actually approached me and yes. asked me to do this. <laughs> and this is so out of my element. But I listen to God and I'm doing it and it actually feels really right. Yeah. So thank you. Mm -hmm. You don't even know that that was something that God's pushed me to do. Mm -hmm. And here she came and and did that so yes. i'm so thankful to yeah. do this mm -hmm. uh i was nervous yeah. still am a little nervous but you did great <laughs> thank you mm -hmm. it feels it feels good it feels good yeah. <laughs> right, y'all well don't forget to subscribe comment share all that jazz yes love you guys bye, bye.